back to my youtube channel friends today we are going to learn how to download and how to install sql map and how to how to run sql map on your windows machine so sql map is open source it is a automatic sql injection and database takeover tool it will automate the process for detecting and exploiting your sql injection flows and taking over of a database servers most of the time there is some vulnerabilities there as a part of my SQL code in your web application. At that time, with the help of this tool, we can easily identify what are the vulnerabilities are there in your code, whether in, whether your code supports a vulnerability or not. Is there any kind of vulnerability is there in your code or not? To identify such kind of thing, you can use SQL map as a part of uh, SQL map and you can check your website link with the SQL map so how to do that one let us start how to uh, use the SQL map as a part of your application as a part of uh, Windows machine to identify the vulnerability and how you can automate the process of SQL injection and how SQL map take over the your database server <coughs> let us download this zip file once you download this zip file, uh, this is a windows based zip file and if you have a Linux, you can download this target.gz file, uh, target file. I already downloaded zip file, windows based zip file. This is what the zip file I downloaded. Right click on this zip file and uh, you need to extract this file here. Once you extract this file, you will get this folder. Uh, so I move this folder as a part of C drive. Yeah, this is the C drive here. Now let us this is uh, now let us start the SQL map as a part of your Windows machine. Open command prompt. Run this command prompt as administrator. Go to the location of your SQL map. This is the location. It's there. You have to run this command. It will show some banners is there. Oh, see, there is no banner is coming now. Means there is some problem is there. So to run this command you need python let us see so python is uh, sorry so there is no python in my system i didn't install Python to run this SQL map.py file command you need Python you need to install Python in your Windows operating system so let us download the Python let us visit this website python.org and under the download section this is the official website of the Python you need to download the latest version for Windows so this is Python 3.8.2 so click on this button you so click on a download Python. You will get executable file. So here you download it successfully. Now open this file. So it will ask you to install Python 3.8.2. There are two options are there. One is the install now, one is the other one is customization. Option is there. Click on custom option. Select all the optional features. These are all optional features. Check all the checkboxes. Click on next. Advanced option you need to select all the advanced option. And uh, the same time you need to provide 
the installation folder location where you want to install click on install option so run as a administrator So your setup is uh, ready to use. Your setup was successfully. So, so friends, once the download has completely, the Python is completely installed on your system. Now you need to check the directory location where you install. So go to the directory location. So friends, you will see that this is the Python completely installed on your Windows operating system on your machine now let me check environment variable how to set the environment variable generally at the time of installation only we at the time of installation we check one check checkbox there which will which will directly set the environment variable for you let us check the environment variable So friends, you will see that C drive Python Python that is script. So these are the two environment variables set by the Python for you. At the time of installation, we check the select box there. Because of that, only Python directly set that environment variable here in your system property. One more part we need to set there. Set package. So this is also one of the path we need to set inside the environment variable into your system property. So click on OK. Click on OK. So click on OK. Close this window. So this is how you are successfully installed Python on your system. Now let us check. Open your command prompt run this command prompt as an administrator click on yes go to the your your location of the scale map so your scale map python space Scroll down to the right click on enter. So 
so friends this is successfully install sql map on your system on your machine so congratulations friends so let's try how the sql map uh, how the sql uh, sql map will control the uh, will take the control and will evaluate the sql flaws on your code so through the sql injection only you will identify through the sql and this is one of the tools that will use to find out the SQL injection some vulnerability SQL in your code that will be found through this code through this uh, uh, SQL map. So let us download one of the query. Sorry, one of the uh, website link where SQL vulnerability is there. Most of the time, the hacker means the third party person always find trying to find out such kind of SQL driven vulnerable uh, website so SQL injection vulnerable, vulnerable website list if you search this kind of string on internet on google you will see that the vulnerable website list is there so click on this list click on this link you will see that this, these many numbers of vulnerable website links are there if you see all our php related uh, links are there website address uh, urls are there so this is how if you select one of one of these website link and uh, if you use SQL map so to that link you can easily identify what are the vulnerable SQLs are there in your uh, website and you will easily get to know what are the internal databases are there what are the variables are there what are the columns are there users are there what are the permission from them what are the internal um, records are there inside the database that all kind of information you will easily uh, get through this SQL map so I downloaded one application on my application server so with the help of this URL this is a SQL vulnerable driven URL to so this URL I will show you how SQL map will help me to find out the vulnerable things in your um, SQL database or whatever the database you are using you will easily identify what kind of a database you are using what are the tables what are the database there so let's start skin map here these are the command here we you need to pass the key if you will not pass the cookie it will identify it will identify this um, You will identify this URL. Anyhow, this URL is a live URL, and it will find out the cookies for you, and it will ask you, do you want to use the same cookie or not? So I want to find out all the DB databases from this using this SQL string uh, using this URL. So here you will see that this is the J session ID. This is the cookies he is finding out for you. And uh, yes, I want to use the same cookie. So you will see that here you will set the databases. You can easily find out to the SQL map. Same way, if I want to know what are the tables are there in that database, out of so to five database I will use test is a one of the database there and I want to know what are the tables are there. So using this command I will find out this is the command using this command I will find out what are the tables are there. Click on yes, so yes. See you will get to know what in this database these are the tables are there. Now I wanted to know what are the tables, what are the columns are there in that table. So for this you need to use this command. Then 
need to know what are the columns in table books so click enter click on yes so these are the tables are there so you can easily find out what are the columns tables columns are there tables are there and what are the databases are there in the same way you can also find out what is the color current user happen happen current user so friends there are many sql map commands are there once you know if you are good in database you will easily know you will uh, know you will know these things so you can easily interact with the sql map and you can easily find out what are the vulnerable things are there and through the sql injection if the sql injection attack has happened on your website then what are the things can be damaged by the hacker what are the things he can manipulate with your database you can you can do anything or you can you can play with your database because this is the horoscope for him once he will find out your horoscope website horoscope he will he can do anything with your website similarly if i wanted to know what are the uh, dumps uh, to the dumps only i will get to know what are the entries are there, what are the records are there in your uh, in your uh, database tables that thing if i want to know and there is a one more command is there i will show you that command so this is the dump command is there with the help of this command you will easily so this is the command there through this command within this database within this table i want to know what are the records are there what are the values for that records there thing i want to know so this is the table in this table there are three entries are there so so this is how with the help of dump you can identify what are the records are there so in this way sql injection attack is happen on your website then with the help of sql map you can easily identify the things what are there so friends this is only for education purpose don't misuse this kind of uh, tool for some other purpose so this is only you need to know how the sql map will help you to identify sql injection and vulnerability in uh, sql sql vulnerability in your code so friends this is all about sql map uh, i will within the my description i will provide you the information about what are the commands i am using here and how the commands you can use and how you can test sql injection vulnerability in your code so thank you friends thank you for watching my youtube channel if you are new in my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel thank you take care